You said Keystone. I did. And you know what I was thinking about. Uh, the arch? Yes, yes, a really big arch. We see them. We see double arches. And four pickets. Yes. All right. So there's got to be a way to build this. I noticed there are numbers on it. Yes. So, so find a number one. OK. I'm going to find a number one. I found a one. I found a one and a two. Oh, <laughs> luck of the draw there. OK. I know. And I need a... You need a two? Oh, two. There you go. Two. And? We just keep building in the number sequence, I would imagine. We need a three. There's a I don't three. have a three. Do you have another three I have a three, there? and I think that's your three. So what makes me think it's my three is it has a dark thing on the... Yes. So, so one of the things I've noticed when you build an arch is that you've got to make sure like the arch all goes in the same direction. So mine looks like it's going in the same direction. Okay. So let's go to four. So four. There's my four. Four? Four. Yeah, that looks like it's mine. Five. Five. We're worried about this. Um. All right, well, here's where it gets fun. So you're taller than me. I am. I'm going to hold this up. But if I let go, what happens? If you let go, it's going to fall because right. there's nothing supporting it. Yes. So that is where the number six comes in. Because if we see, we've got one, two, two, four, five, one, two, three, four, five on both sides. But six doesn't have a friend. Okay. And so this will go right there in the middle. And it will hold the entire arch together. The entire arch. And look, even if I come behind it, what are you going to do? I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. Okay. What? I'm going to lean my body weight on it. Oh. And that's how strong this is. Awesome. Okay, so we made the arch. The catenary arch yes. with our keystone our holding it all keystone. together. That's right. So gravity's pulling everything down, but these are also pushing against our keystone. Compression. Yes. And now let's do this a little differently with a human dome. All right. You know, like a dome? No, like, I know what you're saying. You know, like a cathedral or something like that? So I have a well, wall. Well, we've got two humans. Yes, we need a third, so. Hey, Cece? All right, so Cece's gonna help out. And okay. what we need to do is we need to be far enough away from each other that we're about equal. So 360 degrees of a circle divided by three it is? 45. Nicole. 120. 120, there you go. <laughs> So I'm going to put this ball up here, uh -huh. and we're each going to put, it's going to be right in my face, so you ready? Right. We're going to put our hand on it, okay? And now move your feet out and press at the same. I've got to get my knee because I'm not a knee pro. Now we want it down. Um, so here's our dome, and underneath here, look, there's no supports. We can have, okay, we can have a lot of people under here. All right. So let's have someone come test. Megan! Wow. Wow, we're strong. <laughs> that is guys. super strong. Yes. So, a human dome. Now, so if you, one of us just lets go, the other two are going to fall. That's exactly right. So, do you think three supports is better, or four, or five, or six? Well, we learned before a triangle is pretty strong. Yeah, we did a great job. Uh, but I think four would probably be strong. Mm -hmm.